Hi everyone, Leah here from EurekaCrystalBeads.com with another fun beading video for you. Before I get started, just a quick reminder to go check out the rest of our channel. And if you like what you see, hit the subscribe button and notification bell and you'll always know when we're posting new content. Today's project is an eyeglass chain. So eyeglass chains have come a long way. They are not as much the older dated chain and pearl eyeglass chains that we may be used to seeing. Um, you can have a lot of fun with the different beads, the different crystals, and all of the beautiful colors that uh, we have to offer here at Eureka Crystal Beads. So I'm going to show you a really fun and simple design that you can certainly have uh, a lot of fun with for any changes that you want to make, but this one I think is lovely and pretty and sparkly. So let's go over what we're going to need. So we're going to need 30 inches of 014 fine diameter soft flex beading wire. Now I do have some beads already strung up on it and I will go over those in just a minute as far as what I strung up and where. As far as our findings go, we have our actual eyeglass chain finding. I have two crimp covers, which I think are especially crucial with this sort of a project because those crimps are going to be right at your eyes uh, as they're at the side of your eyeglasses. So people are going to be looking right at them. So we especially want to use crimp covers here to cover them up so that way we can have something look as professional as possible when people are going to be looking right at it. Then of course we have our little two millimeter tube crimps and I have a couple of pieces of French wire here that are also going to really help to up the quality of this project since it'll help to cover up the wire that's right there at your eyes that everyone is going to be looking at. As far as tools go, we're going to need a cutter for our soft flex. So I have the flex wire cutters here. Very important when cutting soft flex that you don't use scissors. You will dull your scissors over time um, and you want to use a pair of flex cutters. These are especially made for cutting flexible beading wire that has stainless steel inside. You also want to make sure that you don't use your regular wire cutters to cut your soft flex because you will dull your regular wire cutters. And you want to keep those nice and sharp for when you're cutting things like head pins, which they're meant for. Um, and keep your flexible beading wire for your flex cutter here. And of course we have our crimper tool. This is a standard crimper tool because we're using a pretty standard two millimeter tube crimp. We don't need to have uh, the mighty crimper or the micro crimper. This is just your absolute standard crimper tool. So what I've done, because I didn't think it necessary for you to sit back and watch me string every single little seed bead, is um, I've strung up the beads that will be used on the eyeglass chain, but I'm explaining to you the breakdown. So I started in the center because I find that the easiest way to come up with the design is starting at the center, uh, which is going to be at the back of the neck. So I kept it pretty simple with just seed beads because a lot of that's not going to be seen. However, if you have shorter hair, you tend to wear your hair up, you can certainly add some lovely interest at the back as well. Uh, I did 13 inches of just seed beads. Then what I did is I started to incorporate my three millimeter bicone crystals. And these are in Montana blue double AB, which I think is a gorgeous color. And in this case, I did go monochromatic and I matched the crystals to the seed beads. Uh, you can certainly have as much fun as you want and you can make it pop a little more or you can stick with a monochromatic look like I did. Um, what I did was I loaded on one of my bicones and then I did two sections that had five seed beads in between each bicone. So those bits right there. Then I did two sections that each had four seed beads. Then I did two sections with three seed beads. And then I did eight sections with two seed beads and seven sections with one seed bead. So what I did was I gradually lowered the amount of seed beads in between each crystal and we get this lovely graduated look, which I think is really lovely. Uh, in total, I used 44 bicones. And again, you can play with that. Use as much or as little as you want. Um, throw in other beads, throw in different colored seed beads. Use a bead mix. We have a lot of beautiful bead mixes that would make lovely eyeglass chains because all the colors are put together for you. We have our check mixes and our bicone mixes and they match with seed bead mixes. So if you got one of each in a coordinating set, you could make a lot of beautiful eyeglass chains for gifts or for selling if you are a craft show person. Okay, so to finish it off, because like I said, all of this part here, this is subjective. It's just what I did. To finish it off after your last bead on each side, we're going to stick on one of our crimp beads. And you want to try your eyeglass chain on before you have it completed. So what I did was I stood in front of a mirror and I, I put this on. I had the seed bead part at the back of my neck and I held it up to where my glasses are just so I could see how low it falls in the front. Um, as far as that that sort of drape that eyeglass chains have and that's up to you you can go longer than this or you can go a little shorter some people do have preferences 
now that I have my crimps on either side, I'm going to load on my French wire. This is going to mean that I won't have any soft flex exposed, uh, which is, I think, especially important, like I said, on a project like this where everything that's happening as far as what's keeping this all together is happening right there at your eyes, which is where people are looking. Okay, so now I'm going to put one side down. If you're nervous about your beads coming off the other side, you can always throw a little piece of scotch tape on it, but I think I'll be okay. We're going to feed the wire through the loop of the eyeglass chain finding, and we're going to go back through the crimp bead and back through the first bicone that's there. It's always a good idea, if you can, to feed that wire back through a bead or two at the end, just so that way when you snip it off, you're not snipping right next to the crimp. And right now, we don't have to worry about tightening this up because all of these beads can slide down later. Okay, so that's what we are gonna have. It looks nice and finished. So you're gonna put your fingers right there at the crystal so that way you can keep this area from loosening up. We're gonna use our crimper tool. Now I'll go over briefly how to use our crimper tool if you've never used it before. There are two little chambers. Let's see if I can get a good, good shot for you. There are two little chambers in there. There we go, that's a good shot. One of them is just an oval that's towards the front of the crimper jaw, and then the one behind it looks sort of like a pair of lips or a kidney bean. We're gonna use the kidney bean first, and that's going to take our little tube crimp, and it's instead of flattening it, it's going to turn it into a kidney bean shape that will then more easily be able to fold in half when we put it into that front section. Now before you crimp, just make sure that your whole crimp is in there and nothing's sticking out, nothing's where it shouldn't be. Give it a squish. So we have our little kidney bean shape, as you can see. We're gonna turn that kidney bean up on its side. We're gonna put it in the front chamber and we're gonna fold it in half. So when we put it into the front chamber, we set our kidney bean up so it looks uh, like it's sitting upright, like a letter C. So we have that crimp all set. We're going to snip down at our crystal and slide our beads down. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Thread our wire through the eyeglass chain finding, back through the crimp bead, and back through that first crystal at the end. And now with this side, we do have to make sure we pull this tighter. So we're gonna hold that tail of wire and hold your eyeglass chain finding and pull towards the rest of the eyeglass chain. As you can see, it helps to tighten it all up. because you ideally don't want to see your beads able to wiggle where you can see soft flex exposed. So, and that's what we have here. We have a successful crimp attempt. I'm gonna get that into our kidney bean chamber and put it up on its side so it's sitting like a letter C in our front chamber. I'm gonna fold that in half and crimping does take practice if you've never done it before. Sometimes that second step is the hardest because if, you're, if your little letter C is not perfectly upright, it'll tend to snap forward or snap back. So it will take a little bit of practice. Now we can snip off our soft flex and we have a beautiful eyeglass chain. They're quick, they're fun, they're great for gifts, they're super versatile, they're a great bead soup project. So if you have a lot of beads left over, you can make a really lovely and eclectic looking eyeglass chain. Last but not least, we're just going to get our crimp covers on there. So what I like to do is I stick it in the front part of my crimper tool. We're gonna feed it right over the crimp bead and then just give it a gentle nudge shut. Just like that. And it'll end up looking just like a simple silver bead. And we have these in both gold and silver depending on what you want to do. Um, we have the eyeglass chain findings in gold as well. So I find it best to accent any metallic uh, bits that are on your glasses as far as uh, whether you use silver gold for the rest of this. So nice and clean and simple. Uh, yeah, so I hope you guys love this one. Thanks for watching. Make sure to visit us on over at EurekaCrystalBeads.com for everything I used in this video, as well as all of your other beading and jewelry needs. Bye.